Hello, and welcome back to TK's Bar. I'm your host, Tessa, and today we're gonna be making Tequila Sunrise. You might be wondering why I have a Corona bottle here then. It's actually gonna be because we're making two different sunrises. So we're making one tequila sunrise, but then we're also gonna be making, because I've been spending way too much time on TikTok, um, the new TikTok trend of Corona sunrise thing. I don't think it has a name, but we'll just call it a Corona sunrise. So I'll put the TikTok right here beside me, but I know that the first thing that she does is open the bottle. So we'll start by doing that while you guys can watch. And then, unfortunately, we have to drink up to here. Oopsie. So then we're gonna grab our tequila. She said put a splash, but like she put more than a splash, so. <laughs> then she went in with some orange juice. I am totally gonna spill this because this is very difficult. And then we're gonna put a little bit of grenadine. Or something like that. They put a lot of grenadine. And then throw a lime on there. I'm really excited to try this, but we're not gonna try it just yet. I'm going to make my traditional tequila sunrise and then we're gonna compare the two. So I'm gonna go get this glass full of ice and I'll be right back. Okay, so starting our tequila sunrise, we're gonna start off with two ounces of tequila. I don't feel like drinking tequila right now, but whatever. Oh, then we're gonna put our orange juice in, and you could do this measured four ounces. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to. Last thing we're gonna do is pour a half ounce of our grenadine. So we've got a half ounce of grenadine here. Um, I'm gonna pour this super slowly. I'm actually gonna use a spoon. I'm gonna just pour this super slowly on the side because I want it to not mix in fully. I want it to kind of sit at the bottom. So we'll do that. Perfect. Then we're gonna garnish with an orange slice. I'm gonna throw that on the side and then a maraschino cherry. Grab a maraschino cherry and throw that on the side. Stay up. Perfect. And there we've got our two finished cocktails. The last thing we have to do is just try these. I'm gonna take the lime out of this one because it's like about to overflow. And let's take a taste. Um, we'll try this one first. Not bad. Um, you can still taste the Corona a little bit, but I think it's really good. It kind of reminds me of like, I know it's like not at all the same, but like we serve like, I think it's called a, a bulldog. We've got a different name for it at my restaurant, but it's like the margarita with the tequila in it or with the Corona bottle in it. Um, it kind of reminds me of that, but a bit more like fruity with the grenadine and the orange juice, but it's kind of got that vibe. Honestly, this one's sweeter, so you can take taste the tequila more. This one, I honestly like this one better, but that's because like I can still taste the Corona and it's kind of like having like a fruity beer. You know those like craft beer places that have like raspberry wheat ales and stuff like that. Like it tastes like what I would want those to taste like. Sometimes I find that those are like, they are like hit or miss, like that would be really good or really bad. But this just tastes, Yeah, this just tastes like a fruity beer, but <laughs> um, can I call it a tie? Seven hours later. Okay, so in conclusion, I would say Tequila Sunrise wins. It is 
a little bit sweeter. This one, I would still say you can taste the beer. Because everyone was like, oh, you can't taste the beer when you drink it. You can still taste the beer. But this is awesome if you're like going camping or something, I would say, and you want like free cocktail, but you're not gonna like bring all your mixing gear and stuff like that. So maybe just bring like a little bit of tequila, a little bit of grenadine, a little bit of orange juice. Then you can make Shirley Temples for the people who are not drinking. And then you can also make Corona Sunrises and just take shots of tequila because what else are you gonna do while you're camping? But yeah, <laughs> there is my end thoughts on this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed uh, these and I'm gonna go enjoy them right now. Thank you. Bye. Uh, if you like me and you like this channel, I would love it if you gave me a like on this video and subscribe down below for more. And other than that, you can hit the bell if you wanna be notified whenever I post, which is gonna get back on track to being Thursdays. Um, very soon. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys again so much and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!